Now to this cold case from 13 years ago that now has a suspect, 59-year-old Rex Hewerman, was arrested on Friday and charged with the murder of Melissa Bartholomew and Megan Watman and Amber Costello, three of the 11 Gilgo Beach victims. Joining us now is the attorney for the families of victims, Shannon Gilbert and Jessica Taylor, John Ray. John, thanks for joining us today. You've been very close to this case, and in January, you were receiving disturbing calls that ended just last week, so one of the red flags was were uh, Hewerman's burner phones. He had multiple burner phones and other alleged taunting calls to victims' families. Do you think that the calls to you were of the suspect? We're not sure about uh, the source of the calls. We, not knowing this suspect, we, of course, didn't know that, he, that there was a possibility it could have been him. You, they started in January, these calls. They were very well-crafted, very intelligent, uh, extremely eerie and threatening, taunting, and um, very deliberately planned. Uh, they started at 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, and they were clearly, the first call was, a, was made as a threat to uh, our daughter. And uh, the, the call in March, the, the, the intent of the caller appeared to be, it was a male, uh, appeared to be to taunt us and to make us believe that we were being surveilled. Wow. What did he uh, say in those calls? Well, I mean, there was a long, uh, th there was a state, there were statements made, and then there was eerie music, and then, you know, crazy sounds, and then sc uh, the, the, the man would do this weird, eerie, bizarre, sh sh like, scream, and then he would show, he would play, uh, a tape of the, the, the one of the reporters reporting on on the Gilgo case back in 2011 and or 12, and uh, he, he he played the same thing. He called my phone, you know. Then he called uh, my daughter's uh, mother's phone. He called his, his, our daughter's phone, wow. and the exact same message with the exact same oh. sequence was in it. And then he would say something, and he he indicated. Uh, for example, my daughter w was on uh, flying out to another state, and uh, to uh, she, she was get, getting trained for uh, by Olympic uh, people, and and uh, it was her first time away from home, and she was dressed all in blue, and he mentioned that she was dressed all in blue. Oh my gosh! So you think that uh, person may have been have been you know watching her? Yeah, and and then in March, I, I came home at nine o'clock, you know, from work, sat down to eat. In the kitchen, and the the same caller, same patterns first, and then he very eerily said, uh, "You're having dinner," and uh, and you know our house is in a dark place up on a hill, and there's there's windows, a lot of windows, and so uh, right away I transfixed my family, and then he said, uh, "I hope you're enjoying your pizza." Oh, we geez. didn't have pizza, but within three seconds of him saying that, the doorbell rang. In the darkness, and there was a pizza delivery man out front with three wow, pizzas. Wow, that, that's giving me chills. D uh, just quickly, because I do want to move on. Did you record any of these these calls? We we tried to. Uh, yeah. We got part of one, and uh, yeah, we have them. We have we you know we called the police. We did the normal things, but I think now it's time after we were at that arraignment and heard what he was doing with members of the victims' families and tracing them and taunting them and so forth. And then we heard about the pizza box and that he ate pizza. That's how they caught him. Uh, it, I thought maybe we'll, we'll go see the, uh, the, you know, the uh, trio of the task force and yeah. see what they think. I, I, have, I have to wrap, but I just want to ask you, I know you represent some of the families of the victims. What have they said to you now that, that this man has been arrested or a suspect is, is in this case? Well, you know, Jessica Taylor's family is, and, and Shannon's family, they're, they're really delighted. They're elated that he was caught, but uh, it's sort of bittersweet because the killer of them has not been caught yet. So they're still concerned. They're still on edge. And uh, but you know we we have high praise for the task force. Yeah, absolutely. All right, John Ray, thank you so much. Keep us posted right. on everything. Um, we thank you for sharing your story with us today. Okay.